money don't sleep. Got a penny by the minute. Money, 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 money don't sleep. Got a penny, money, 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 to bring in your camera equipment to a show. Now there's a couple of routes that you can take. The first one is to get in touch with the right people managing the festival. The Rebel Music Festival team here in Melbourne granted me an all access media pass to publish this video. But in my early days of volunteering in community radio, obtaining a media pass to a music festival was merely an application form. So the second option is to volunteer for a media publication, community radio station or popular music blog. Now the final route is to be working directly with an artist and their team and they're going to be able to provide you with the correct accreditation to grant you access to get you these shots. In terms of the camera body, I'm shooting on the same camera that I've shot on for the last four years, the Sony a6500. Now I like this, it's an APS-C crop sensored mirrorless camera and the settings that I've used and the settings that I've had set up on this camera for the last couple of years, 1080, 100 frames per second at 100 megabits per second with a shutter speed of 200. You know, it's just double the frame rate. I really don't know what I'm doing though. All right, so tonight we're gonna to be shooting on two different lenses. I'm gonna be using, they're both art series lenses. They're both really low aperture, so it's gonna allow a lot more light to come in. I got one F4, one 1.4, and one 1.8. I'd say if you are shooting music stuff, it's probably best to try and capture stuff with like prime lenses, because you don't have to do too much fiddling, but we've got an 18 to 35 zoom, which is also nice. It's got that low aperture, it lets a little bit more light in, gives you a lot more to work with when you're up there and you're in those low light conditions. So let's go check these out and let's go shoot. Music festivals only give you access to the pit for the first three songs of each artist's performance. So make sure you use that time wisely to get all the angles you need. Alright, so we're about to go shoot the second act of the night. I think there's a little bit more fun happening on stage. So I'm gonna shoot the prime, I'm gonna shoot some fusion. Now I also want to stress like when you're out there in the pit, you gotta move around. Like there's so much energy on stage. If you're just shooting the one angle, it's your content's all gonna look the same. So we gotta get flavor. Let's go get it. So the first show we pretty much just shot on the 18 to 35 and then I shot a little bit on the um, 18 to 105. I like having at least one zoom lens while I'm out there just because like you want to get some stuff up tight with artists, you know, you want to be able to get in and zoom in. So having something which goes a little longer is nice, but it's an F4 so it's not going to let as much light in. So let's chuck on the 35mm, we'll go out and have a look at the other set and then again I want some more flavour so I'm going to shoot some 360 content as well. This is the first time that I've ever been to the forum. This is the first time I've ever shot this venue. So I think it's super important when you do come to a venue for the first time that you make sure that you're not stepping on the artist's toes, you're not getting in the way, that you're very mindful of you know, other people that are doing their job around you. That's something super important. Your job is to make sure that your content looks good, but don't be a diva, okay? Make sure you're thoughtful, make sure you're mindful of what else is going on. And you know, if you muck up or if you screw up, like in terms of like your content, be chill, be chill, it's okay, you'll live.
touch on is shooting technique. Now obviously we're shooting with a range of different lenses, we're coming up different perspectives and different angles, but when we are using the camera to shoot, I think something that looks really cool in music, especially in music content, is whipping in and whipping out. So if you can, you lock onto your subject, you find that gold and then flick the camera so that each time you move in and out of a shot, you've got a little bit of motion blur to play with as the editor. I love to do while I'm shooting these kind of events I'm always looking and I'm on the lookout for things like blockers to give some more dynamics and motion to the camera I don't want still footage I want to be able to like move around something or if I find like a post you know out there there's a railing we're gonna go use that to kind of like add a little bit more motion to our shot Music licensing is super strict when it comes to editing, especially on social media. Sometimes the artists don't even own the music themselves. So in this case, rather than using one of the artist's tracks seen performing in the video, I just jumped on Rebel Sound Supply to find all these beats. It's a bit of a no-brainer, but find some matching beats that suit the genre of the concert you've captured. In this case, it's hip-hop and R&B. How'd I do? Vibes? Yeah, mama told me always watch for them snakes. Watch. Hey. My god, oh god, oh day for doing this safe. I hope you, you guys have found some value in this video. If you have, or if you're new around here, these videos are all about travel, creativity. Hopefully there's some inspiration. If you have liked the video, punch a thumbs up. See you guys in the next upload. And um, yeah, see ya, peace.